What's up, Estancia? I'm Chef Ben. Today we're doing another grilling episode for you. We're gonna do a sweet sriracha chicken, we're gonna do some fire roasted broccoli, and we're gonna do some glazed sweet potatoes. So let's get started. So to get things started, we're gonna get going with chicken. Uh, I put on there chicken thighs. You can use any kind of chicken you can find right now. You could use pork with this. That would go great uh, as well. Uh, for, for those that uh, like a little tamer, you might want to cut back on the sriracha a little bit. Uh, for me, this, is, this recipe is just about right. So we're just going to take our chicken. We're going to mix in uh, about uh, two and a half tablespoons of honey. That's kind of going to give us our, our sweet element to the chicken. Next, we're going to use about three, three quarters of a tablespoon of soy sauce. If you have sodium issues, please feel free to cut that. Like I said on the recipe, we got an eighth of a cup of sriracha. Like I said, go ahead and cut that back if you're a little scared of the heat, but actually this pretty much balances itself out with all the sugar and then all the heat, and it's not really that hot. Uh, you have one tablespoon of rice vinegar. If you don't have rice vinegar, you can use about a half a tablespoon of white wine vinegar, that'll help. Uh, one and a half tablespoons of lime juice. It'll uh, give it some more acidity to it, makes it a good flavor. About two and a half cloves of garlic chopped and one tablespoon of olive oil. So basically what we're gonna do is mix all this up right here. Normally on the recipe, how I wrote this up was, is to mix all this up ahead of time and then take one third of this and reduce it down. I'm currently outside, I don't have that ability, so what I did was is I just made a little bit of it earlier and reduced down some of the sauce. When you take, uh, you can still see this, is, this is a little loose, but you can still, even if you don't want to put it on the stove top and reduce it down, you can just use this leftover mixture and just spoon it on as well. So what you're going to do here normally is, is just take this, put it in your refrigerator for a good 30 minutes. It should be good to go. The longer you let it sit, the longer the flavors are uh, going to soak in there. But me, I like my meat to have flavor on the outside, but still taste like what it is on the inside. That's why I don't do a lot of seasonings on my steaks. I'm a steak, a salt and pepper kind of guy keeps it fresh and I, get, I like to taste the meat. So, but like I said, this is gonna have a good sweet and spicy flavor on the outside, but you're still gonna get that chicken on the inside. Next, what we're gonna do is, is sweet potatoes. So, just took your uh, average of the mill sweet potatoes, yams, you can use whatever color you would like. Uh, next, what you gotta do is, is you're gonna wanna slice them about a quarter inch to a half an inch thick. You can go thinner if you're trying to go quicker, uh, but you're not really gonna have much to it. It's just gonna be like a chip. Uh, so do what you like, but you can go thicker if you've got a lot of time to do this. If not, this also, this recipe works really good if you want to just take it, throw it on a baking sheet, put it in the oven for about, at 350 for about, I don't know, 30 minutes, 35 minutes, it'll come out perfect. So what we're going to do here is, like I said, is these are just the ingredients I chose to put on this that I think go really well with the sweetness of the glaze that I'm going to make for it. You don't have to do any of that. Go ahead and use the flavors that you like. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, is half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of white pepper. Like I said, you can use black if you prefer. Three tablespoons of olive oil. Three quarters of a tablespoon of paprika. Quarter teaspoon of onion powder. And a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. So just going to give those a quick little mix up in here. Break them down a little bit. Make sure there's no clumps. Pretty easy. So, like I said, these require no cooking ahead of time. Like I said, you can just put it on there, kind of set it and forget it. Even if you're warming up your grill, this is a great thing to throw on the top rack and just let it uh, kind of do its thing. Throw it over the flames at the end to get some nice grill marks on it and then finish it with the glaze that I'm gonna show you next. So, while we're going, I'm just gonna pop these little guys in here. Try and shake off those that olive oil and the ones in the bottom if you're using a bowl. It says you can use a gallon bag for this if you want less cleanup. That works well. And since I got this here, why waste it? Let's grill it up. You get that nice heat coming off there. All those sugars, gonna give it a nice char. The one thing with that is, is you just gotta pay really close attention to it so it doesn't burn. We're good right now. So let's move on to the fire roasted broccoli. So well actually, let's make the glaze up for those sweet potatoes. 
So what you got here is, is a little bit of a quarter cup of honey, quarter cup of maple sugar, sugar or syrup, I'm sorry, two tablespoons of brown sugar. Just mix those up a little bit. I'm just gonna make like a quick little glaze to put on the end of these sweet potatoes. I didn't make as much as that recipe called for. Uh, just for the fact that I'm only doing a few of them for you and you don't really need it all. So, I can't stress this enough when you're grilling. Try and use different tongs for different things. Uh, I know it's one more thing you gotta wash, but you don't want raw chicken touching your raw sweet potatoes or your raw broccoli getting somebody sick. That's kind of not the thing. So you can see here, we've got nice grill marks going on that. Super fast, super easy. Pull it off the heat a little bit. I don't want those sugars to burn too much. So we got our mix here, set that aside. So, broccoli. This was just one small head of broccoli. I just chopped it into quarters real quick. A little olive oil. You put garlic in it, salt and pepper, whatever you prefer. And all you're gonna do is, is give this a little mix, coat up your broccoli, coat the tops. Super, super easy, rudimentary stuff. Um, I try and do all these recipes so you guys can do them at home and knock them out. I'm not trying to hinder you, but this, this is super easy. You saw this, how fast I did that. And we're just gonna pop on the grill. Try and keep your stem sides down. Those florets will uh, burn really quick on the top. So we're just gonna keep an eye on this stuff. Like I said, one thing starts to cook. If you're not cooking at all, one thing, it does start to cook at different times. Pull some stuff up, put it on the top, pull it off. That's fine, it's not gonna hurt anything. So we've got nice grill marks going here. Looks good, nice and caramelized. All those sugars. Like I said, the sweet potatoes will take a little longer. So I recommend probably starting those uh, a little sooner. Like I said, I have deep breast, uh, deep bone uh, thighs here. If you if you have bones in them, they're gonna probably take, I don't know, a good 10 minutes longer at least. And if you have the skin on them, they're gonna light up a lot more because of all the fat and all the mixture of sugars going on with these chicken thighs. So, these are looking pretty good. Just gonna move my broccoli over here a little bit. It says it's all about uh, not, not cross-contaminating things, not getting anybody sick. It's not the point of a barbecue, it's to have fun. So we're just gonna let these sit up here and chill. The good thing about chicken thighs, they have enough fat content in them to keep them really moist and juicy. If this would be a breast, and this would almost be cooked, you're gonna dry out your meat. So like it says, if, if you are using chicken breast, go ahead and pull that right off the, the grill, uh, wrap it in some foil, it'll keep it moist, the juices will go back to it, it'll be solid. But uh, like I said, try and go ahead and uh, start your uh, sweet potatoes first and go from there. We'll give this a few minutes to cook and we'll come back and see how it's going in a few minutes. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes now. Uh, we're gonna start glazing our uh, stuff. I kind of pulled the stuff down already and I kind of gave them a quick glaze already, but I'm just gonna give them that final glaze to show you kind of what it's uh, looking like at the end. So we got our chicken over here. Let's start with that actually since it's over here. Uh, lack of this on. At this time too, I kind of turned my uh, grill down to low. That way, uh, with all this sugar going off the meats, it's not gonna jump up and burn you. Really don't want that right before dinner. It's gonna give it a nice nice effect right there at the end. Like I said, I already gave it a couple co coats, give or take. Same thing, uh, you got your uh, sugar, honey, and syrup mixture here. Let's give a, these quick glaze, get a brush, spoon, whatever will work. I would not recommend trying to pour this and eyeball it over the fire. You will burn yourself, like I said. Uh, it'll jump right back at you. Like I said, if uh, you're uh, looking at a sugar-free diet, uh, start, start trying to work some different things into your diet, like uh, monk fruit sugar. Not sugar, but it's a type of uh, sweetener. I've been using it a lot for my daughter's cooking. Works really, really great for substitutes. Even if you watch the ice cream video, I made ice cream the other day and I made it uh, with no sugar whatsoever and no sweet and no. So you can uh, do different things. It'll turn out really good. 
Try to try play around with different ingredients. That's what I always tell people. So, as all that's cooking, we're going to start plating this up. I'll show you how it all comes together now. It's got our plate. Put our grilled broccoli on there. It says if you don't want it as charred, you don't have to take it as charred. I like that flavor. Like I said, it always kind of brings me back to earth. Gives me that caveman feeling. So, that's just me. Like I said, get our uh, sweet potatoes here. Feel free to cut these recipes down, like I said, if they're uh, too much for you. Just get some uh, nice glazed chicken, some glazed sweet potatoes. Fire roasted uh, broccoli, super easy, super fast, really quick to clean up, really tasty. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. This is a grilling grilling uh, with a blue star here at uh, Trilogy at Vistancia. Uh, many thanks from me and the Lifestyles team. Have a good day.